Here is how every day the death toll in Syria rises to 5,000 a month. Shelling near Damascus hits a home. Locals rush to help. The bodies dragged out are young and motionless. Activists reported four deaths that day in that area. Body after body. Part of an irreversible spiral into regional war that's fueled by a refugee crisis, the UN told World Powers Tuesday, that's not been seen since Rwanda 19 years ago. There are now nearly 1.8 million Syrian refugees known to UNHCR in the region. Two thirds of them have fled Syria since the beginning of this year, an average of over 6,000 people a day. We have not seen a refugee outflow escalate at such a frightening rate since the Rwandan genocide almost 20 years ago. 6,000 Syrians fleeing every day. For many, the journey is perilous here in Jordan with shellfire nearby. But they do it because what they leave behind is worse. In Jordan, they are herded into this massive camp, which seemed to have doubled in size in months to an uncontrollable morass when we last visited. But Iraq may already be caught up worst in this region-wide war. The UN made another deeply troubling declaration Tuesday that Syria's war and Iraq's sectarian bloodshed are uniting into one conflict. The violence in Iraq cannot be separated from the civil war in Syria. The battlefields are merging. Iraqi armed groups have an increasingly active presence in Syria. As such, the Syrian conflict is no longer only spilling over into Iraq. Instead, the conflict has spread to Iraq as Iraqis are reportedly taking arms against each other in Syria and in Iraq. <laughs> Suffering is acute, particularly now in the besieged areas of Homs. But in the daily exhausting stream of dizzying numbers, consider one fact. Syria's year of civil war has already killed more children than America has lost troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. Out of the 92,901 individual skills, at least 6,561 were minors. 1,729 of them are under 10. Children have been documented as being detained, tortured and executed. They have also been recruited as combatants by armed opposition groups. Their future bleaker as Syria's spiral daily puts a resolution or even lull in the violence further away. Nick Payton Walsh, CNN, Beirut.